This is a quick review and simple ballistics test of the Spear Gold Dot 357 SIG 125 grain jacketed hollow point using the SimTest Media calibrated two ballistic gel specs plus four layers of denim. Test gun is the Glock 32 with a four inch barrel. This is my first ammo test in 357 SIG. I've purchased several boxes of ammo, pretty good variety to get us started, but the first one is going to be in the Gold Dot. This is the one I've had requests for over the past several months as I consider getting into 357 SIG testing with the Glock 32. Quick comparison for you here, that is the 357 SIG Gold Dot, 125 grains on the right, and the 9mm plus P 124 grain Gold Dot on the left. Notice that there's only one grain of difference in the bullet, but quite a big difference in the construction itself. Not much of a hollow point cavity as far as depth on the 357 SIG, and my guess is because of the additional velocity that we're going to have. Gold dots are bonded bullets. I'm a little bit concerned about over penetration in this and the uh, hollow point cavity not opening up, but we will see in just a moment as we toss this into the SimTest Media, distance of 10 feet, Using the Glock 32 4 inch barrel, you'll see my chronograph numbers in just a moment. Okay, let's see if I can do this in the fading light. There are two tracks, as always. We're going to focus on this one the lower track because it is the more complete one that I was able to cut here and you see the entry point we have some expansion starting about one inch in and if you measure from here to this point right here that is 4.75 inches in length of stretch cavity and from this point here to this point in its widest area it is just over an inch about an inch and a tenth so that's pretty impressive that's one of the best ones I've seen in this media given all the different calibers that we've tested so far. Then it starts to settle down, but if you notice, and maybe this will show up in the video, a little bit of discoloration here that shows that there was some stress in this area. So it really starts settling down about seven and a quarter, seven and a half inch mark. And then we have that uh, straight line peeling away. You can see that uh, it appears we did have some expansion starting to cut and so forth. Moving on along and we get to the 14 inch mark and thereabouts, the actual full depth is 14 and a half inches measured out to this pedal and I cut away some of the tissue tissue <laughs> not tissue some of the media there we go close up and there's looks to be a pretty good sized plug of denim in there let's cut that out get some measurements but it does appear to have expanded let me give you a close up before we get this cleaned up for the measuring and weighing process definitely a pretty good sized plug in what's left of the hollow point cavity but other than that just rotating this around and we'll get the exact measurements in a moment. Very uniform expansion. Very consistent expansion. Not much deviation between the measured points and the average is coming in at 0.572. 125 grain bullet. Retained weight is 124.5. Here are some data points that I'm taking from this test. The recoil of the Gold Dot and 357 SIG, at least in this platform, is manageable. It's warmer than your hot 9 millimeters coming in between your 40 and so forth, uh, but manageable. I think that's going to be expected with 357 SIG. In addition to muzzle flash, I believe we're going to see that with this testing, and that's to be expected as well. Sufficient penetration, very pleased because I was concerned about over penetrating. Not a factor here today, and that's in spite of the hollow point cavity or what was left of it plugging with the denim. So very pleased to see that. Compared to say 9 millimeters, which I know some folks are going to want to see this down the road, say between a 124, 125, 127 grain 9 millimeter, what's the advantage of this 357 SIG? Well, it's early in the testing process for this, but there was a much greater energy transfer. I observed here today in the shot itself and also looking at the test media that uh, it's obvious this has a little bit more heat to it than your best 9 millimeter loads and that might be the pivot point for folks when considering 357 SIG. Thanks for watching.